Our objectives for the initiative are very straightforward. We want to systemat systematically introduce uh, or enhance climate action uh, around the world. Number of speakers have talked about the diversity of dairy production systems around the world, recognizing that there are going to be different pathways for different uh, geographies and different systems uh, all over the world. We now have nearly 200 organizations that uh, have signed on in support of Pathways to Dairy Net Zero. They are either taking direct action on greenhouse uh, gas mitigation or they are supporting and promoting our principles. I, I think I, I want to make this clear if I could. We are not necessarily asking for a commitment to be net zero by 2050, although uh, a number of the organizations that have signed on in, in support are. Uh, we have uh, all 10 of the top uh, 10 largest dairy companies uh, on this list as well. Uh, collectively, supporters represent nearly 40% of global milk production. So far, the work has, has really focused on uh, two primary areas. And that's the research analysis tools and methods, which FAO and GRA are helping us with, uh, but also focusing in on um, uh, demonstrating progress in both developed markets, which has been talked about a lot, as well as developing markets, which has also been discussed uh, so far uh, today. In working with GRA and FAO, they estimate that approximately 40% of the potential emission reduction uh, in the global dairy sector can be accomplished on a no regrets basis. Uh, that is by adopting best practices that already exist. They also estimate that the next 35% of reductions are from existing and emerging, emerging technologies. This, this can include digesters that have been discussed already, feed additives uh, to reduce um, enteric methane, for instance. The remaining 25% is going to require long-term fundamental and applied research. It may include things like the rumen microbiome and low methane uh, cattle breeding, for instance, and we call this uh, raising the ceiling. Our initial focus for Pathways to Dairy Net Zero has been on uh, emerging economies. Uh, that is where 80% of the dairy sector's global emissions uh, come from, but we do understand that in developed markets, the pressure uh, to reduce emissions is perhaps uh, uh, the greatest. Um, Amable has already mentioned uh, the work that's going on uh, in East Africa, uh, where uh, we've been working with U.S. State Department, FAO, uh, Green Climate Fund, and other organizations to uh, provide $3.5 million of project preparation funding, which we believe will unlock $400 million uh, in financing to support the transition of the region's dairy systems to lower emissions and climate resilient pathways. Similar progress, uh, programs are planned for um, uh, South America as well as in Asia as well. Okay.